So some time ago, popular Yugi tuber Simo started something called Master Duel Masochist, a challenge series in which a brand new account builds a deck out of five master packs, and with every win, you gain a new one as well as any bonus legacy packs to improve it. So we watched it and thought, this looks fun, let's give it a shot. What's up guys, Toaster Corgi Gaming back here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Now, it's a new month, new season, which means we did get demoted to Bronze 5, but that just means we can actually start from sooner to climb back up to gold. And I'm going to be a little bit more energetic from now on. I'm going to try. But I will also not be cursing my head off because A, I'm going to try and do better about that for the video and for y'all. I'm going to be a good gamer and try and do better. As well read my cards. But speaking of cards, let's actually see what we get in the one pack we can open. It's a master pack, genius. Hit the thing. We only get one. We only get one. So let's see what happens. Oh, we got a secret. We got an SR. Two SRs. See, Charging Guy of the Fierce Knight. You can normal summon this with attribute. Okay, level seven, normal summon, which we can actually use this to go into Red Eyes Flare Metal. Its attack becomes 1900. We don't care about that. And we can add a BLS card. That's actually pretty good. What is this? Gen X ally bird. Wasn't this limited at some point? Turn a phase out monster you control with a hand special summon this. <gasps> we can use this with Gleep and get another combo. And it's a level 3 tuner. Black Illusion Ritual. We don't care. A Magma Dragon. Um, It's a worm. Special summon. You can target a worm monster in your graveyard except Magma Dragon. Special summon in defense position. Uh, only if it's special summon. Okay, 1600. Not terrible. Cyclone Laser. Uh, Gradius. Shadal Core. Okay, a level 9. Defensive wall. So this is a fusion material on a Shadal fusion. Um, okay, not the best card in the world, but not terrible. There's normal summon. You can add an AI spell or trap. I don't think we have any. And what is the last one? Dimmer synthesis. Okay, so those work with chemic critters, which are Gemini's. So not terrible. I'm glad we got these two. I'm glad we got these two. But let's go into the meh, into the legacy packs. All right, we got two. Oh, we may have an SR here. Come on, give me something good. Oh, we do. Five Brothers Explosion. Is this... What archetype is this? Fire Fist? Or Six Sam... Five Brothers? I really don't know. Gain 500 life points for each continuous spell, a trap, you control. Okay, not terrible if we want burn damage. A deal with the Dark Ruler. Always choose an If a level 8 or higher monster under your control is sent to the graveyard this turn, special summon a Berserk Dragon. No, not happening. Tripod Fish. Uh, if this is special summon from the graveyard, you can target a fish, sea serpent, aqua on the field, increase level by one. Okay, probably never gonna use. First breath, tribute a dragon monster, draw face a monster whose defense is less than or equal to the attack. We could run that. We do have some dragons. Alright, so here's the deck. We put in all the new cards. We put in uh, the burst breath, we put in the Gen X ally Birdman and Gaia, but we took out. Um, I literally just did it and I can't remember. We took out the Weather Painter, the. Uh, yellow colored yellow painter. It's um, I don't remember the exact name, but it's the one that has the yellow crayon 1700 attacker I'm pretty sure we also got rid of a one of our two XC's sly dolphins We got rid of the one of them and the third. I'm pretty sure we got rid of a trap card. We had I don't know But let's see what happens All right, this is actually a pretty good hand we got uh, I'm gonna hold off on scrap shark Hmm. You know what? Let's put Scrap Shark, because he's just going to get nuked if anything breeds on him, so we can just use him as a bait. Or not as a bait, but just get rid of him. And we've got Tribe Shocking Virus, which is a super good card for us. We don't have any spells to activate Mystical Beast Cerberus with. If 
we activate our unpossessed before they attack our scrap shark, we can actually get another monster on the board. I do believe so. Okay, it's the blue eyes structure deck. Or, yeah, the blue eyes starter deck. My, I'm sorry, starter deck. Okay, they wasted their rush recklessly. See, this is why I put this face down, because if anything activated, we would have lost it. Now, in theory, this should work. I think I read it correctly. Which will let us bring out a new monster. Our familiar possessed Kita. 1850 attack beater. So, we got that going for us. Do let me know if the music is still too loud or if I can't be heard or anything, because I don't know. And I can't listen to my own voice while recording, because that just makes my brain just shut down, because I'm, I'm like, am I interrupting myself? Alright, memory loss. Okay. All right, do we have any synchro? All right, what are our synchros? We got, we need a water non-tuner, which I don't, oh now, oh now, we can do it. We can actually do it. You know what? Let's do it, let's do it. Let's start this video off with a banger. We can summon Gungnir! Come on, come on. Yeah, boy. And now we can discard up to two cards and nuke them. Let's get rid of this and that. Pop both of those. Ooh, flew to summoning dragon. That's actually good that we got rid of that. Alright! We starting off good! Sad that we had to get rid of our uh, tribe shocking virus, because that actually beat us, let us beat blue eyes in the last video. As well as a combo of our new, of our queen and our new boy, King of Feral Imps. I didn't even know we could pull off a combo like that, but I'm happy. I'm super happy we now have some synergy in the deck. Building reptiles would be interesting, because they don't get a lot of type coverage. They're not type coverage. You know what I mean. Or, do you know what I mean? Alright, what do we get? Aw, ant jaw. Alright. Um, we could go for this effect again, but I'm going to play it safe. Oh, I can discard up to two. Destroy their back row. Sack their face down. That's not good. Hmm, I should have thought about it. I was thinking about it. Okay, they add it to the hand. It's not the second one where they special summon it for free. It's just like that one came out, and now that one never gets played. But... It is what it is. I mean, they're going to give Blue Eyes support indefinitely. I just need to accept that. But that just means we need to find a way to counter it. And if we pull Dragon Capture Jar, that's going to be huge. Or Light Imprisoning Mirror, because that is one of my favorites. Just because it screws over Blue Eyes. It's hilarious. And we got rid of their Flute of Summoning Dragon earlier. So, and Fusion Substitute. So, we might actually win this on the first go. Anesthetic rocket drive. Oh, yeah, we win. We win. That's game over. <laughs> Gungnir, best boy! Yep, there's the other. But it triggers during the end phase, so we can immediately win, just like this. Yeah, boy! Little Debbie, little Debbie, I'm coming on home, baby! I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm hyped. We actually won. Now let's get up to the master pack we got. Oh, wait, actually. Hey, Beaver Warrior! 
Why has this not gotten retrained? Why has that not gotten any respect? And Mr. Volcano. Uh, probably never going to use that. All right, let's see what we get. Okay. Arrive in light, a uh, dragon monster. Place a level one dragon from your hand or deck on the top of the deck. If a synchro monster special summon, you can apply one of these effects. Okay, so that is draw power and special summon one tuner from hand. So that's actually not terrible, but that's only if a synchro is summoned, which means we got to get Gung near back out. The Fable, Ganasha. Okay, this actually has discard properties, so this is actually going in. Supreme Rage, if you control Supreme King's Arc. Okay, not happening. Uh, Manadium Breakheart. Target a tuner and or synchro in your graveyard, special summon it. So in a light monster, you control a monster your opponent controls. Okay, this could be a possibility, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. Rank five Xyz. Not good, but not terrible. Not terrible. Red Gadget. Okay, another level four. That's good. Infernity. Uh, okay, only just kind of. Okay, Infernity. We don't have Infernities. Raigeki Bottle. This is going in. That's going in. All right, what about the secrets? Or, all right, we got one Legacy Pack from that win. What? Oh, I, we didn't get any. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright, so here's the deck so far. We added the red gadget in the fable Gan Ganashia Pistachio. Right. We also added the Raigeki bottle, but we took out our super heavy, our six samurai tuner, because we're not going to be able to sink. Well, we actually could. You know what? Let me put him back in. Because I just remembered we have uh, that. I forgot that we had our little Mary Melfies. It would be better if we had some other Melfies, but. Alas, we can't. Yeah, let's ditch the Scrap Shark instead. Because he's not going to be that great. I'm sorry, he was good at the start for a beater, but if anything breathes in his general direction, he's kaput. Oh boy. Dark Magician out the wazoo. Let's see if we can take that Dark Magician. If we do, that'll be hilarious. Let's stay hopeful. We can try. We may we may win, we may not, but we won't know if we don't try. Oh, that's new. Never seen that base before. Wait a minute, they might be using Endymion. With spell counters. Okay, I just took out our other pendulum, so this is pointless. Hmm, that's a problem. We'll put Raider's Wing in defense just in case they attack. So I guess I'm gonna have to take out DD Divine Zero La, La King Rage. I don't know the naming scheme. But we do have Goblin Elite Attack Force. I also don't really. Okay. Crusadia deck? Are they gonna pop off? Yes, they probably will. I mean, they're a swarm deck, but not terrible. Should we keep the rescue rabbit or should we get an upgrade? Should we switch it out for a different duel mate? Drop a comment down below, let me know. Alright, so they're going to add Crusadia Draco. Then they're going to link away into Link 2, Crusadia Leonis. Then Special Summon Draco. Yep, there's Leonis. I'm sorry, Regulex. Thankfully, we put this in defense position, or in defense position, but also put it in the middle so they can't point to it, because none of them have diagonal forward arrows. Unless they go into something we really wouldn't expect. Which would be hilarious, because they're not locked into Crusadia extra decks. But they do have access very likely to Mech Knight Equimat, 
or not really, not for Avramax, that's what it is, Avramax. Or maybe not, they may just go for Equimax and call it. Tough to say what they're gonna do. Okay. There's the Equimax. It's like, hey, I turned into a horse thing. That must have been a weird day. Okay, so we can't put him in front of it or else it can attack. Now, will it go into a Link 4 or stay as that? Hmm. Okay, so we do have defense po defense points, which is not terrible. It's not much, but it will help us a little. We can drop its attack by taking out its other pieces. Okay, not the best card, but... We can stall. Should hopefully be able to stall it out a little. One can hope. I don't even know if the mic was quiet because it was away from my face. Alright, so if we take out Leonis... Then that drops it by 1,200, which will cushion the blow for the incoming attack. Plus... Hmm, that's a problem. And see, I don't know why they ha let you decide to activate it. It should go off regardless. What if we bait? Bait and sink! We got a trap. <laughs> Dark Magician just nodding up there. It's like, we got this. It's like, you may, you may not. Tough to say. Now, if he gets rid of his other, his Link 1, or his, um, what are you? Reclusia. I mean, that literally is the deck. Just make a big beat stick and then go for game. So Arborea has a protection effect. None of them have other protection effects, I don't think. We could go defensive with Sly Dolphin if we don't get a strong enough attacker. That is not a strong enough attacker. We may lose here, but we'll be hopeful. We may survive, because he, can, he can't really gain an attack boost. That's fine by me. I mean, it's a continuous spell. We can't activate it anyway. And he gets to set one. That card, the event made me realize this card's actually really good. Because if you can set a card on your opponent's turn, can you activate it on your turn? Because it was set the previous turn. Kind of want to test that. If we pull that, we may get to. Tough to say. He's just immediately going for the fight. He's not Link summoning it off again. All comes down to this.
We may just ditch the Link sum the Pendulum Summoning entirely. Okay, we may... Hmm. You know what? We're going for it. I know we're going to lose, but we're going out fighting. Never said I would make it easy for him. We are reformed. But we're just being really cringy. Tough to say. I don't get any feedback, so for all I know. Negate its effects. Not a problem. Oh, thank you. That actually makes it easier to beat you a little bit. You must have read piercing damage. Trap card? Yes, indeed. Okay, that doesn't give you much, but this, taking out this, will drop you by a fair amount. That's a problem. Yes, I'm gonna can yes, I'm going to attack. That'll drop him by 1200, which... If he doesn't summon another monster, we'll survive on 50 HP. Which will be hilarious if we do. I'm really hoping we survive on 50 just to annoy him. Because how often do you ever get to 50 life points? How often does that ever happen? We tried. I mean, if they want to nerf Equimax, they can just say only uh, Crusadia monsters give it a boost, but that would just be unfair for the archetype. Even though they're a swarm deck, they kind of match the early Link summoning mechanic. Oh well. Next duel! Old Nemesis, Sword Soul. Okay, we'll set you down. You're good general monsters, you can special summon this. Okay, we will. So now we can special summon... Okay, so never mind. I didn't read. I mean, if it's Sword Soul, we may, like, activate our negate and then give up if we can't do anything else, because you know how it is with Sword Soul. You could try, but good luck if you do. Good luck. I'm gonna wait on that one. I can special they can special summon it from the hand. They're gonna link summon. Monk of the Ten Yi. Hmm. We could focus on an Earth deck. Earth and Fire, maybe? But that doesn't really work well with Gungnir. He's probably gonna go for... Nope. Might as well activate it now. Hmm. You know what? Let's just call it. We're not going to win this, so... Okay, not a bad hand. Yeah, let's activate this. Special summon you. And set you and call it, because we have then uh, Pantera's effect, which we can reveal 
Naturia rock in hand, so she can't be destroyed by battle. Hmm. That's a problem. It is a Blue Eyes deck, so it probably will be a Blue Eyes Ultimate. Or Twin Burst? Nope, Tyrant. Why do I keep thinking Twin Burst? Tyrant can do all that, but better. We'll still take damage. We'll hold off on the trap card. I mean, if we get a tribe shocking or a tribe virus, whatever that thing that we used in the past. Unaffected by trap cards or effects can attack once each. Okay, they don't have any traps in the grave. Hmm. Okay, we can't exactly synchro summon. The attack will be redirected. Or not. You can only use each of the following attack. You can choose. Okay. Well, we know how that's going to end. Alright. Not a bad hand. We got our queen. Okay. We'll hold on to that in case we can get Gungnir out. We need our Tribe Shocking Virus. We'll set you in defense. Play safe. It's probably best if we go first so we can actually try to draw our Counter Trap, our Divine Wrath. Numerelia! I've never seen this deck in action. I've never figured out what they do. Go into the Numerelia card, you can banish the following cards. Okay, so for all we know, it could be a Numerelia Labyrinth or something. We may have to play safe for a while. Get special summon, but return to the hand. Why are they desserts? This deck is, this archetype is weird. So is their plan to ex to uh, remove their entire extra deck from the equation?
Now, if they don't have any more cards in their extra deck, can they still banish? So their whole point is maneuvering Dreaming Nemliria. Well, that's game. First time fighting it, and honestly, um, a little BS. Okay, not a terrible hand, but would have been better if we could go second. We'll set you in pass. I still say we need Master to do a masochist only mode. Because I feel like that will be more fun, because you never know what your opponent's going to pull out. Okay, Galaxy Eyes. What was the, um, Kite Tenjo, the Galaxy Eyes user in Zexel? What was the Photon Transformation for? Like, that really didn't do anything. He just... His clothes change color. That's it. Like, it just didn't do anything. I mean, I guess it's like, okay, I'm wearing a white coat. Now I'm a Kaiba knockoff. Because Jack Atlas did it in 5Ds, so. If we can just find a way to turbo out Angel 07 on turn one, we win. Because they can't activate anything. Galaxy 100. I think they're going to take too long just to kill us. Okay, actually a not bad hand. Send that to Grave. Ash Blossom. Very likely. Are they AFK? Nope. Okay, yes, we will special summon. Any cards into the graveyard is banished. Well, good thing we don't do that anymore. Why did you activate that so late, though? Limited to two. Only hand trap on a limited list. Why? Why aren't all of them? I mean, heck, back when, um... What are you? Cash Tira! Part of me says quit, but part of me says, let's see how far we can go. I'm like, at this point, just ban the whole archetype, Konami. Like, if it's causing that many problems, just ban the whole archetype. 
I hate Small World. Like, I could never figure out how to grasp what the card actually does. It's just complicated. It's like, oh, you want to do anything? Let me special summon everything and then... Hey! Now I'm going to banish all your stuff. And make you unable to physically play. And I'm going to make it super reliable. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If we destroy them, they can special summon their other ones. I'm not going to attack, because that's what they want. Because if I do, then they can summon Unicorn for free, and then swing back. they want us to do, but I'm not going to do it. I read the effect that time. I'm getting better. Because I've had to deal with a lot of cash tiras, so it's like, if they have no monsters, that's what they want you to do. They just banish everything. Okay, so it looks like they can't summon a Rise Heart unless they have two level sevens or have Shangri-Ra. I'm gonna just call it Shangri-La, because that just sounds better, and it's not like Shangri-Ira. No way! We take those! We take that! Yes! 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 We beat Cash Tira! <laughs> By doing nothing! Oh god, I feel, I feel dizzy. Oh my god, I gotta catch my breath. Oh god, my heart's racing right now. <gasps> and we got two legacy packs. I'm say okay, that I'm saving. <laughs> Just to say we did it, we beat it. They quit. They intentionally quit. Let's go see what the master packs give us. Come on, give me something good. We did the impossible. What are you? <laughs> two Valance monsters. Genesis Grand Duke. Looks cool. Uh, Abyss Actors, nope. Dr. Frankenderp? <laughs> Me with a medical degree. Oh man, you got Steve coming at his ease. You pay power, look at the top card of your deck, then place it on the bottom of the deck, reveal it, and add it to your hand. But skip your next draw phase, if added to the hand. Hmm, probably not gonna put him in. Prank Kids, nope. Alter Guys Failover. Uh, this is a show by opponent's card. Okay, we don't really have Alter Geist. Have no ninjas. Tauti? Shadow of the Yang Zing? In this card you control the Jiba Battle card effect and send your grievous for some of the Yang Zing much from the deck in defense position. 
Synchro Summon. Uh, we can't do that. Insector Centipede. Hmm. Not great. Like... Oh, you actually beat, uh, that. You get nothing. Alright, are these gonna be any better? We got an SR in one of them. Let's hope it's a good one. Shine Knight. Almost said Squire Knight. This card is level 4 while I'm facing the defense. Okay, so not terrible. We have to level 3 and 4 XCs we could use. Death Vault's Graft? Didn't you belong to Yui in the manga? It's a dragon. Okay, you might be going in the deck. And your Earth attribute, too. That's not bad. A level 6 dragon. Decent attack, too. Oh. Two monsters with different types of attributes. We have a link we can summon! Cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Your opponent cannot target this linked card. Oh, it has to be linked. Mm. Well, that just bums me out. Destroy by battle. Send this card to the graveyard instead. Feel graveyard. Okay. Unfriendly Amazon. That is a terrible card. Yeah, that is not good. Savannah.